That little girl needs to take up crocheting. I could teach her that. But this basketball, I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Basket weaving or something, because this, this is, ooh, this is a hot mess. What's up, Basket Bay? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. Now, baby, listen, 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 listen. How you doing? I just got home. It is 10 o'clock, and it's 10 o'clock p.m. Who knows when I'm going to get this video up. This video right here is more of a recent video <laughs> but baby listen 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 i want to come on here and give you the tea i just plucked these eyelashes off honey and threw these glasses on because sometimes when i come on i just want to take everything off and crawl in my bed and i have not been staying at school as much but Miss Anderson, my sister teacher, and I started chit-chatting, talking about our day and this and that, this and that. And I just wanted to give you the tea. I don't know if I should put this on my teacher channel or my other channel. I don't know. No, I'm probably going to put it on my regular channel. So how you doing? I know it's been a while. I will say I've still been battling with my mood. And like I said before, I, I, don't, I don't feel depressed, but I, I can tell my actions when I'm home are that of someone I'm not crying and stuff I just want to be in in my bed that that's it I don't want to be anywhere else I don't want to go out I don't want to do anything and my sweet sweet friend she's having um a friendsgiving baby and she said you coming tomorrow I'm like whoo the devil's a lie I just like oh to leave the house oh lord but I'm, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best to push through but I just want to be and be in my room <laughs> and so the struggle has been real that's the only thing I crave so anyway listen 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 so I probably do two videos because I got trying to catch you guys up on stuff mm -hmm. I was on my high horse today no not my high horse i was on just lecturing i was giving speeches inspirational encouraging speeches to the students today because listen they've been complaining about me child complaining did i give too much work no i don't i keep saying i don't but the story that these kids go home and tell their parents is something totally different they say I get too much work or it's too hard or it's too much that I'm pushing them too hard. What you want me to do? What you want me to do? Bring it down here. Bring it down. Bring it down. And they, they're legit complaining about me. My name is boop, 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 all over the place. All over the place. So when these kids take the state standardized test, they have to write a full essay. They have to write short answer responses. They have to analyze, annotate, manipulate, capitulate, and all those other things to over nine, ten passages. They're putting a lot on these kids. So when I'm trying to teach you how to write a full essay, what you complaining for? What you complaining for? Because isn't it my job to get you ready for the state exam? I didn't say I was teaching to the test, but I still got to teach you how to take the test. But you complaining. If I have the kids, let's just say 52 minutes, I don't know, 52, 54. By the time the kids get in the class, I get them calmed down. They take out the library book or they get in the Chromebook. They waiting for the Chromebook to boot up. They wait, you know, all these things. It's about, let's just say, 10 minutes. Then, if I do the 10-minute reading um, every day, independent reading where they can read their library book every day, that's 10 minutes. And then if I say, okay, share out, you know, the comp, the main conflict in a story. What is the, uh, describe your character so we can work on characterization, whatever it is. And then I say, share out with your elbow partner. Five minutes, back and forth, or three minutes. 
So now how many, did you keep up with the math? Cause I don't forgot. But the point is I only have about 30, 25 minutes because then I need that minute to wrap up, exit ticket. I just do verbal. Do you have any other questions? And then I may ask, you know, questions. So what is such and such? What is such and such? Okay. So that's about, so technically I only have about 25 minutes with those kids to teach a lesson, to do an activity. My class be flying by so quick. <laughs> One little girl today, she was like, why does this class finish so fast? And I say the same thing. So a class feel like it's flying by. You know we ain't messing around. Now I do say, one of my classes today, I'm just like, it was gone, gone. I'm like, I'm just gonna have to chuck this one up as a loss. I was building relationships. Everybody was, it was like a zoo. If somebody had walked in that class, then in there, baby, building relationships day. And I never lost a class like that. So what happened was after I gave my 25, 30 minute speech telling kids, Sometimes you got to do work at home. If you play a sport, do you go to practice one day and then they put you in a game to be a starter? Heck no, they do not. When you go to practice, you practice for maybe a month, two months. You practice in those drills, in those skills, getting ready for the big day. It's just like the Astros practice, 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 brought them to the World Series. You think they practice one day? No, so you think you're gonna master, let's just say, a literary analysis essay, uh, providing evidence and explaining and making it all and this and that. You think you do that one time? We talk about it one time in 25 minutes. You gonna you a master? No, parents, not all. I'm not saying all. They don't want their kids doing homework, or the kids say I got too much homework, or they say I don't have time. I don't have time for that or they just don't do it and they don't care and they keep getting pass after pass after pass oh late work late work late work I really don't mind the late work I'm just getting done I want you to understand the concept but at the end of the day I want you to I want you to succeed at the end of the day I look at my own kids especially the girls Clinton my son he's naturally smart I had to stay on him. You see how this melanin is stuck to my skin? That's how I had to stick to Clinton, my son. Yes. Let me tell you. You think Clinton was going to have 59 zeros in the grade book? Yes, he did. But you know what? You know how long those 59 zeros lasted? Probably a day or two because I got on him. Some kids, I had the zeros in the grade book from one quarter to the next quarter. Oh, no, absolutely not. And do you think I'm going to blame a teacher because my son chose not to do the work and as his parent, I'm going to get on a teacher because he didn't do the work? No, you got to do your work. Whatever the teacher said, you got to do that. what you got to do. But these kids can stay on social media, their cell phones, the internet, the ticking the top, the, 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 the Instacarts, the Instapams and Grams. They can do all that and be on uh, uh, videos and, 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 and television shows hours and hours and hours. But let me give them a homework assignment. Oh no, oh no, I can't do that. I cannot do that. But let me tell you, if you want to lose a few pounds, don't you go out and walk that track, you walk that walk, or you go to the gym, or you work on your meal plans. Do you do that one day and think you're going to be snatched the next day? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You keep working at it, working at it, working at it. And let me tell you, don't tell her I said this. Don't tell her I said this. So listen, 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 listen. And I always go back to my daughter, Bobby. I always go back to her. Bebe, she didn't touch a basketball until 7th or 8th grade. Never touched the ball. And she's playing and playing. And I was like, Lord, that little girl needs to take up crochet and I can teach her that. But this basketball, I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Basket weaving or something, because this, this is, ooh, this is a hot mess. But let me tell you something. You think she went to practice just the one time? And, 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 and then she just magically got a full basketball scholarship to go to school for free? No! Her academics and 
her work ethic, putting up shots, putting up shots, going to practice, hiring personal trainers, hiring basketball trainers, finding money to put her in AAU basketball with coaches who believed in her, who kept pushing her when she thought she didn't have anything else to give. They kept pushing her and pushing her. And did it pay off? Even her teachers at her high school, the writing, the writing, the program that they got at her high school, baby. You think I'm going to complain because she got a, she didn't get the grade that she felt as though she should get? No. Try harder. The teacher must have saw something. You think I'm going to question a teacher? Absolutely not. Because why? Those teachers are pushing her. So, let me share this with you. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down. It's going to take me a second to find this. And now, Bobby, she's in her second, third year. I don't know what year she is in college. I don't know. She just started, but she had a whole bunch of credits before she got to college because her work ethic was worthy enough for her to take AP classes to excel in those AP classes and pass those AP classes in order to get college credits to apply to her education. Do you think she was coddled? Do you think, oh no, oh no, no. Baby, you got to stay up to 12 or 1? That's what you got to do. Work is work. Sometimes you have to work harder than the average student, maybe because some things are harder for you. Sydney, her sister, she has to work a little harder. Clinton, my son, naturally smart. Didn't open a book, didn't study, but he could just, just get by, passing. Minimum, but passing. Naturally smart, but the work ethic wasn't there. So, you stay right there while your sister, you know, was down here, but the work ethic will bring her to the top, to the mountaintop, work ethic, being pushed, being challenged, having goals, sitting at the desk, doing work, doing homework, not on the game computer all the time. Absolutely not. She's sitting at the desk doing work. The other daughter doing work. You think I'm going to question her teacher? Why are you giving my child too much work? N no, that's life. It's life. Do you want your child to excel? Do you want them to grow? Do you want them to know what grinding is like? Do you want to know what hard work is like in order to make it to the top? Not stuff that's just always handed to you all the time. No, you got to put in the work. Period. Let me read this to you from her professor. I don't know. So she did something um, at, in one of her classes and she's going to be taking 18 hours. 18 out credit hours in the next in, in next semester. What? What? So you think if she didn't build up that stamina in high school with sports and all those things, if she didn't build up that rigor and that fighting mentality, do you think she would be able to handle 19 credit hours? Absolutely not. But you build that muscle. You practice. You hustle, you grind, and you become stronger and you become smarter. Not say, oh, no, no, no. But it's okay when they on video games and, and playing with their friends six, seven, eight hours, staying up in the middle of the night, and then they get to school, they sleepy. Anyway, this is what um, her professor said, sent her. Amazing. Great job. Fantastic job of showing your work. I love how neat your handwriting is and easy to read. Her handwriting is like a font. It, it, it's just out of this world, right? Because there's pride in what she does. There's effort in what she does. So, very neat, right? And most of all, you have mastered the dimensional analysis and show all the units involved. You made my day today. Okay, this is a professor. But you know where that was built? It was built from a work ethic. It was built 
from teachers pushing her. It was built from my mother pushing her and not allowing her to quit, to settle when things got hard. What you gonna do, sit there and cry? It is what it is. It is what it is. This is life. Life is not always going to be easy. But next thing you know, they want to complain about me at school. And you get too much work. You, then you pushing them too much. You think I would ever say that to my child? Or to administration? Oh no, you pushing my child too much. You pushing my child to be better and to be the best. And not just throw grades at them. To just brush things to the side. Absolutely not. So I need to lower my standards in order to make somebody else feel comfortable? What, 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 what do you want? You want a teacher who cares and who's going to push your child? Or you just keep passing them along when there are some students in plenty of schools who are behind, who keep getting promoted, low below uh, reading grade, below level, can't write complete sentences. Can't do this, can't can't spell. They're not used to spelling. They even took that away. We can't even teach some students. We can't even mark things incorrect if it's spelled incorrectly. It's not even something that's on our lesson plans. Took it away. The kids are struggling with spelling. Writing a complete sentence, put in punctuation. But then when you have a teacher who's pushing and wanting them to use this, then I'm a problem. Bye, 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 bye. And I'm telling you, it's not the kids. I could deal with, you know, disrupt the kids. I could deal with that. But sometimes it's 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 the parents. It's the parents. Y'all can say what y'all can say what you want. Write me up. Do whatever you want. But it's the truth. We have to defend ourselves. It, it's just a lot. It's a lot, but then when you have that teacher who's pushing, who works tirelessly, videos and editing and, and designing, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, so they keep complaining, y'all. Go ahead and complain. Go ahead and complain. Go ahead and complain. But when it's down to that state standardized test, it ain't going nowhere, so I can't even fight it. Whatever. They got the test every year. I still got to prepare those kids for the test the best way I know how. And if that requires them to do a little homework or to practice, to practice that skill, just like you practice baseball, soccer, basketball, foosball, video games, Call of Duty. You practice that. Hours and hours on Call of Duty, Duty and Fortnite. But do they put those hours and hours and hours into reading a book, practice writing? Most kids, absolutely not. There are some who do. There are some. But most do not. But they want to complain. Baby, sometimes I don't think these parents realize how much teachers put in. How much we want the kids to succeed. Because it goes on our record. That record follows us. So why, why would we want them to fail? And I'm not, I'm not about to fudge no grades just so the grade book looks good. Because you know why? When it comes down to the state standardized tests, they can't perform. And not to toot my own horn, I had the highest performance. I had 85% passing rate for the state uh, standardized tests. 85%. Why? Because I work with the kids, I push the kids, I, I, I stretch their, their minds. Yes, yes I did. So, lock me up. Lock me up. Anyway, I was on my uh, high horse all day today, <laughs> preaching to the kids. I'm like, if you want to pass this test, we have work to do. Because they took the essay away. No, then the kids didn't have to write an essay. Then they brought the essay back. Now they brought the essay back plus short answer question back. Fill in the blank. Pull down menu. Ten passages. Then instead of four hours, now they got eight hours. All day to take a test. And if you don't have the stamina to go through ten long passages... Coddling them. Oh, oh, that's too much. No, no, no. Just, just read, just do, do read a little paragraph. What you think's gonna happen when a state standardized test comes around? 
can't handle the pressure. Because y'all don't want them doing the work. Anyway. I have to get that off my chest. It's, it's, it's just frustrating. It's frustrating. Frustrating. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Doing well. Look, I got to calm my nerves down. It's late. I might eat me a piece of chicken. It, what? It's the weekend. What? 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 It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay? All right, sis? So calm down. I need to tell myself calm down. It's just frustrating. Frustrating. So my classes today, one of my classes, like I said, ooh, somebody had walked in in that class, baby. I saw a handshake. <laughs> I saw a handshake on Instagram, and I saved it, but I didn't know how to retrieve it. So I asked one of my students. I was like, I wanted us to practice a handshake because, you know, I greet them at the door, you know, and do a little handshake. And baby, I started practicing with some of the kids that we had to keep watching the video, watching the video, practice, practice until we got it. <laughs> so I was just like, after my little speech and it got settled down, class was, everybody was talking. I was just like, oh, well, I'm building my relationships. They were playing in my hair, middle school, playing in my hair. They were wearing my glasses because I had another pair of similar glasses. To this. One girl had, oh, these look nice. I like these, Miss Bass. So I said, but those are prescriptions, so be careful with them. <laughs> And they was like, ooh, can I wear these? I said, mm mm, mm mm, give me my glasses before you leave, okay? So trying on my glasses, looking in the little mirror. It was just, I was just building a relationship, I guess. So it is what it is. If you are still here, thank you for watching this video, listening to me rant. I don't know, sometimes I, I really think about this teaching thing and what I'm gonna do next. So I'm thinking about maybe consider high school um, because I enjoy the writing and aspect and the creativity that you can do with writing. And then many of you know how my classroom looks and the fire marshal rules for everything. I just feel like once you start to put and cage me and cage my creativity, it, uh, it starts to make um, my spirit go down. And I said that in my interview. I said, you can't cage me. I said, you have to let me be free to be creative because I'm a creative being. Creative being. And when I feel as though you chipping away, chipping away at that creativity and cornering me in a tight spot. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do next and what the next plan is. Okay, I know I talked to you off child. So share this video. Share, 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 share. And click like, click like, click like. And share the video please i appreciate that and thank you so much for watching because i know you didn't have to period okay my little thing is falling down child need to do something with this hair feels like i just did this hair make sure you hit the post notification button so you know the next time i upload a video you didn't have to but you did mm, period